Okay. Ah, wow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another morning, another day here in Nanjing, China. We're here in Jingsu Province and uh, here to explore the historic wall and uh, the old historic town. So come with me and we'll uh, check it out. Oh, Woo! It is, hot. it's bloody hot and humid. 29 degrees with about 80% humidity and uh, super glary. Oh, Woo! Cooking. All right, so Gina's just about to get, gonna get a ticket. Close to 50. R&B. No, Aussie. Ah, so there's about 50, $25 each a ticket. So you get to check out the wall, the temple, the old historic town. There's a big temple up here we can check out. It's all glass, I think. Um, yeah, but we'll take you with us and show you around the old historic wall in town. Bit of history here so what I'm about to show you on the on the ground here is the old original historic site from the original temple um, and all that's remaining is literally a bit of dirt and a few pillars um, I'll show you in a second and then what they've done is they've in memory of this temple they've built a new one behind it so yeah take a look Goes, wow, they're already built a tunnel. So. so yeah, this down here, what you see here is this is the original um, drainage system that they would build back in the day, um, and sewage also. So, but it's more about the water. So they would build this so the water, when there's heaps of rain, the water can drain out. So pretty sophisticated. What year do you reckon this was from originally? Ming Dynasty. Yeah. So when's that? What? A few thousand years old. So, back in the Ming Dynasty, one of the leaders at that time wanted to build a, um, a temple for his mother. Um, so that's what this site was for originally, thousands of years ago. So um, yeah, this is like a museum to um, uh, represent or um, showcase all, all of that. Construction of the Grand Bodian Temple from Jingchu Temple, Chang'an Temple, Qian Temple to the Grand Bodian Temple in the Yongle Yo era. The Buddhist temples were destroyed and rebuilt several times.
Wow, pretty impressive. So the whole ceiling and all the wall on that side is lights. Little round lights. And then behind me is a, a glass mirror, so it makes it feel bigger. It's a big room, but yeah, super impressive. And they change colors, so now they're green, and they go uh, like a yellow. Amazing. So it's obviously a, a Buddhist temple. Now they're green again. Yeah, this place is massive. So if you're in Nanjing and you want to come to a museum, a Buddhist museum, come check it out. And the tip is that we've come on a Monday, um, so it's not too busy, not crowded. If you come, it's all pink. If you come on a weekend, it's going to be crazy busy. So now we're going to go into the actual temple, uh, that big tower. We're just going to go into the base of it. I think you might be able to go downstairs as well. And then we're going to go up and, and check that out. So let's go. Such a spectacular um, construction. Everything's just like on a massive grand scale. Yeah, that's meant to represent the lotus flower. We actually ate some lotus flower last night at dinner. It's beautiful. It had like a tomato and um, um, like this dressing, and it also had um, some passion fruit as well. Really interesting. Oh, there's the wall. You can't really see the city today because it's actually uh, really humid and um, uh, misty. There's the old historic wall down there. So, of course, when you go to any museum, and you go through to the exit, they always take you through to the gift shop. So we're in this like ginormous, massive uh, gift shop. Um, we're actually gonna get some Lego for the kids, for our friends' kids. Um, there's some really cool Lego, uh, Chinese Lego of like a little temple. So we're gonna get that. Um, we're gonna then walk over to the big historic wall and uh, check out the old town, maybe get some food and uh, yeah, show you what that's all about. So here's the old historic wall.